This vitality point is about time. Now, time is a very interesting concept and you see Marvel and all these things talking about multiverse and how time folds on itself and all those kinds of things. But here's the first thing that you need to understand about time. In life, we're pushed into a system that is you spend a certain amount of time at home in your young years under five and then you go to preschool and then you go to kindergarten which is your first big year and then you push all the way through and you get to year six all of a sudden you leave year six and you go to year seven and you're looking forward to year 12 and then you do your hsc and then the next thing you need to do is you need to go to higher education and so you'll go to university and you'll do four years there or five years or six years depending on what you're trying to achieve with your studies but in life we are conditioned to continually move forward through time, to get to the next goal, to get to the next milestone, to get married, to get the white picket fence, to buy your first property, to buy your first car, to take your first holiday. I can't wait to the next holiday. And so in life, we're conditioned to constantly be looking forward at time as though it exists somewhere in the future. We're these beings that have an incredible ability to visualize the future. And that's part of our brain called pattern recognition. We can run various simulations about the future and go, you know, this is the outcome that I want. This is the goal, the vision that I have for myself in the future. Now, I've met with some executives that their role is to build a 20-year strategy for the organization. Can you imagine building a 20-year strategy for the organization? It's really about understanding the key trends that are happening and figuring out how that translates for the future for your particular organization. That's true transformation where you're thinking 20 years in the future. Now, as sales individuals, sometimes you're not even thinking six months down the path, not even thinking 12 months down the path, not even thinking 24 months down the path. But it's really important to start to take that long-term view so that you can do things in the present that are gonna help you in the future so that your future self can look back at you and go, you know what, thank you for doing that for me because now my life is easier now my life is better and now I need to spend less time working. That's really the crux of what we should be trying to do in the present moment is to really help and support our future selves. Now on the opposite side of the coin, like I mentioned, we're conditioned through life to be thinking about the future, to be thinking about the future. I've definitely had the situation in my own life where I'm constantly looking too much at the future and living a fairly unconscious life. What does that mean? I'm living based on the whims of my own neurochemistry. I'm living based on the whims of the dopamine. I'm living for the dopamine without realizing that I'm living for the dopamine. So myself as a high performer really was driven for the multi-million dollar deals. You know, that's the thing that I thought I was getting up for every single day, the thing that motivated me, the thing that drove me, the thing that I really wanted and aspired to. And I remember one day I flew over to Boston to close a large multi-million dollar deal. And the deal slipped, so it didn't close on the day that I thought it would close, but it still closed while I was there in Boston. And I remember when it closed, I felt nothing. So that dopamine rush that I was really looking for didn't happen. Now that was the thing I was living for. Like that's the thing that gave me purpose and meaning in life was that big milestone and being a hero and being celebrated and being successful and all those sorts of things. My neurochemistry didn't support, didn't support me any longer to release that dopamine when I achieved that level of success or when I closed those large multi-million dollar deals. And I remember just sitting there thinking, well, that was uneventful. Like that was mediocre <laughs> like the, the feeling the emotion that I got was mediocre it wasn't a good feeling and it, all of a sudden I thought what well, what am I doing what do I love doing do I even love what I'm doing am I passionate about this still why did I feel a certain way in one part of my life and then all of a sudden I'm here closing these multi-million dollars deals I've flown across the world in order to close this deal this should be a real celebratory moment this should be a pinnacle for me and all of a sudden I felt nothing and the reason that that happened to me was because I lost sight of what was truly important of life. And it's to do with time. So in life, we are conditioned to think about time as this linear thing, sequential thing that we work towards. But what a lot of human beings don't understand is that time has depth. We're always thinking about the X axis in life as we go through life, but we fail to realize the Y axis, the depth of time. 
So each particular moment, and I'm feeling it right now, I'm feeling this stream of consciousness as I'm not thinking about this video or the end of this video or what I need to say to, uh, to, to help equip you. I'm really now starting to develop a deep sense of awareness for the present moment. And when you develop a deep sense of awareness for the present moment, you should feel a rush of endorphins. You should feel joy that's sitting within you. Yeah, you might feel other things. You might feel frustration. You might um, learn something about yourself that you don't really like, and you've got to figure out how to manage that and how to get better and all those kinds of, yes, you might have those things. But at the deep underlying level, what you should have is a baseline of joy. We're not waiting for six months when that deal closes to feel joy. No, we're feeling joy today because otherwise what happens, we live a life of illusion. We're chasing things that don't really matter at the end of the day in the grand scheme of things. These things don't actually matter. What matters is how we feel about ourselves right now. And yes, we can push and be in the top 1% and we can have huge ambitious goals and we can push, push, push. Yes, I endorse that. I advocate for it. I think every person should be as successful as they can possibly be. But what we need to do is start from a baseline of strength by understanding the time has depth. So I want you to today think about that depth of time. Think about what you're doing when you're with your loved one or when, when, when you're with your kids or when you're with your dogs or when you're with your colleagues who you love or your friends or whatever it is. Stop and experience the moment as it is. Stop and experience the present moment for what it is. And I want you to feel a sense of gratitude for the present moment. And there is a spring of joy that you can use to propel you forward into a really vibrant future. I've met a lot of multi, multi millionaires that are miserable, that aren't getting any more joy out of life. They're not stopping to savor life. You know, if you eat something that you love, you can either just eat it and move on and go, that was delicious. Or you can really stop and you can close your eyes and you can go, wow, let me experience these flavors, right? That's the depth of time. And so you can do that without the food. You can do that in life and you can really stop and slow down and savor the moment. Like right now, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm in a dimly lit room. It creates, uh, it gives me a higher level of creativity. I'm able to share what I'm passionate about with you and you're able to learn through this transference of your paying attention and I'm giving uh, value. And I really enjoy that. I think that's really cool. But I could just let this video run past and just go like a robot and tell you what I have to say and then move on. But no, I want to experience this present moment as it is. And I want to experience the joy that it has. And you can see that I'm already smiling because I'm feeling a deep level of, of enjoyment. If you can learn to live that way and you can train yourself to harness that deep joy, then you can go through anything. Anything that life throws at you, you can absolutely overcome and you can develop that deep sense of power. So remember that all of us have the same 24 hours in a day. At some point, we will talk about productivity. And in my two-day certification, I go deep in terms of productivity and what, it, what you need to be able to do to run multiple things, multiple opportunities, and be as productive as you can be. But let's get this first. Let's get this sense that time is not just linear. It's deep. Let's remember that the past impacts our present moment and our perspective and our frame of reference and the way that we see the world and our philosophy and our value system. The past creates that this in the present and the future creates a pull, the vision, the goals, the ambitions. That's the future. That's the future calling out to the present. And your role is to navigate all that. Your role is to go past, chill out. You stay there. I'm going to understand life without all these preconceived notions that I have and I'm going to open up my mind and I'm going to take in new ideas. I'm going to hold two opposing ideas that could look conflicting and hold them up both as true and weigh them both up without making any judgments. And you can look to the future and go future self. Just, just chill out for a sec. I need a moment for myself. I need a moment to enjoy this. And you all know the phrase, stop and smell the flowers. And that has deep meaning because it's about going into the depth of the moment and experiencing the depth of what's truly here right now. That was time. 
I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you in the next video.